Okay. Ceiling fan install, Miss Peg. You were talking earlier about your remote turning on with your neighbors. It has a little pin selector in there. One, two, three, four. They're all in the up position. And you come over here and up there behind the plate, like you said, Miss Peg, you got to pull the fan blades, the light assembly, and pull the whole thing down to get in here. And this little baby here pops right off. And you have the respective pin selection there, too. That's the way you do it. Would you like that? So there they are. They're all in the up position, one, two, three, four. That's what most guys stick them in if they're doing one fan. You don't have to mess with it. But when you have a couple fans, or the fancy neighbors got one over there messing with you, you got to pin that bucker out. So because I have three of them going up here, this one here will be all up. Then the next one, I'll just move one pin down. And then in the other room, I'll move one pin down. And I kept a little note of it, too, so I know what they are. You can look at the respective remotes as well. But that's it. You just change that. There's a little cover, I'll, a little rubber cover. I'll snap on that. This has a little, little butt-in pigtail on it for the antenna. So you just pop that in. You got a little hook for a kickstand to hang that assembly while you reach in and snap it back into the motor assembly with that. It's very easily done. If I can do it, anybody can fucking do it. All right? See any pin selectors? Right there. But the easy solution is just go over to your neighbors, visit. When they ain't looking, you drop their remote in your pocket, come home. They can't find their remote. They do it by hand. Problem solved.